Jeff with Vegan Walk, and I'm gonna make a smoothie tonight per my son's request. There's no rules here. I'm trying to do it in this small container as opposed to this big one, because this is probably sufficient for both he and I. Um, this is kind of like a dessert. We don't need a whole lot. But a lot of times I'll put in greens, kale, good way to get that cruciferous going with the sulforaphane and the marimace and all that. Not destroy those enzymes and precursors through the cooking process. I'm gonna put some Pecans in here too, the fat from those will help absorb those phytonutrients and antioxidants. And we've got a banana here. So this is a fourth of a cup. You should eat berries every day. And a serving is about a cup. I've already had some this morning in my oatmeal. So we'll end up having a cup. And this is just kind of like a couple of blackberries and strawberry. It's getting kind of tight in there. And I love putting some cherries in there. And this is dessert, literally, because it's that delicious when it's done. The other night I went to someone's house and they were kind of sick the day before, so in anticipation of that, I, I made a power smoothie like this to kind of protect myself from the impending viruses and diseases. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of flax seed here. Usually I'll have some of that in the morning for my breakfast. It takes a cup of this every day for a serving. That's just a quarter of a cup. I might put a half a cup in there. Again, there's no rules, just do whatever you want. Awesome, either way. You know, we'll do it. Piece of a peach and a mango. Not a whole lot. I think we're getting a little too tight. Probably did a little better when I wasn't in front of the camera here tonight. A little treat. One tablespoon of serving. We're gonna be splitting this, so that's a half of a serving of that. And the last thing, my date syrup from the How Not to Die cookbook. I love this stuff. Put it in all kinds of stuff. Quick and easy, whatever you got, stick it in there. This invariably is going to turn purple. So you want to blend it up real good, like a whole bunch. You want to pulse the heck out of that single serving cup here. There's no way you're going to know there's kale in this when it's all said and done. Just look at it. Can you see it? I mean, you could put any kind of lettuce in here. Romaine lettuce, spinach. Spinach is another good thing. And because the berries were frozen, it makes it like thick and like an ice cream kind of experience. It's gonna be really cold. Sometimes it's thicker. Frozen berries are less expensive and you can get them organic and they last a long time. They say they're even more nutritious because they pick them and freeze them right away and it just they don't just sit and lose any nutrition on the store shelf. I could eat these every day, but it's more a treat because it's a lot easier just to throw some berries in the morning in your oatmeal and you don't want to overdo it. All right. So this is a great way to get something delicious and nutritious quick. It works as a dessert or a midday snack. And it's just another reason why I love my Ninja. I initially bought this Ninja to make smoothies and it came with a really big one of these as well as an extra one of these. And this food processor that has become an essential tool in my kitchen. Actually just bought my dad one of these for Christmas. I went ahead and I put it on veganwalk.com under the shop I have there, veganwalk.com forward slash shop. And you can get it at like Walmart or wherever, you know, you can get it locally or you can get it online from various sources, you know, but if you're curious about the specific one that I have, you can just go to the vegan shop at veganwalk.com. All right, time to relax and enjoy my dessert.